Yo, what is going on guys? It is Kobe here today with part 2 of how to improve your aim and gun skill in Black Ops 2, where in every video I try to break down one important aspect of getting better aim and accuracy while firing your weapon. If you missed part 1, click the annotation on screen or the link in the description to go watch that before you watch this one. I covered some really basic stuff, but still I think it's some pretty good information to know. Now in today's video, we're going to be covering what's probably the most important perk when it comes to having better accuracy, staying on target, and most importantly, winning gunfights. Now toughness is becoming one of those perks that we all use on most of our classes, but none of us really know exactly what it does, or at least how much it affects you and helps you, and that's what we are going to be doing today. I'm going to test some stuff out, see where the perk is most effective so we can win those gunfights, and if you do enjoy the video, be sure to smack that like button. You guys were awesome on part 1's rating, so I just want to thank you guys for that. That really does motivate me to make some more videos but enough of that emotional crap let's get into this so toughness is pretty much identical to the proficiency focus back in mw3 where it reduces the flinch when you're being shot but exactly how effective it is and its effectiveness when matched with different types of weapons is still in question so i decided to test it out on a variety of weapons to see how much they are actually impacted and to see if the results differ at all Starting with the assault rifles, we see an immediate difference that is made when you compare being shot with toughness to without it. It really isn't even close. The distance that your reticle kicks up is easily 5 times larger when you do not have toughness equipped. And you have to remember that this was from only one bullet. In gunfights, you're typically getting hit more than once, so your gun is continuously kicking up, which makes it very difficult to land your shots. Moving on to the SMGs, again you see how much your gun really kicks up. The difference between the two, pretty much identical to the assault rifles. However, with the SMGs, you're typically at a closer range, so the difference may be slightly smaller but still obviously toughness makes a huge impact. Again with the LMGs you see an identical difference between the two when compared to the assault rifles and the SMGs which I find very surprising. I thought because the LMGs are so large the flinch would be a little less but all three are pretty much the same. Toughness is incredibly and equally effective with all three of them. So lastly I tested it out with the snipers and it appears that the difference is identical to the other three weapon as well but obviously with the snipers it is even more important because when you're taking bullets you basically lose all vision of your enemy as you can see here. So from this I think it's needless to say that toughness plays a huge role in keeping your aim on your target and is basically a necessity for almost every weapon and class. With the shotguns you obviously don't really need it apart from the KSG, however for the assault rifles, SMGs, LMGs and sniper rifles you will definitely win more gunfights if you have the toughness perk on. But what do you guys think? Do you use toughness on all of your classes? Only select few or only on certain weapons and weapon types? Let me know down below. Me personally, I use it on virtually all of my classes and I can definitely feel the difference when I don't have it on. Overall, the perk helps my aim and my accuracy tremendously and I definitely recommend using it if you do not already. So there is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and want me to continue this series, please leave a like. If we could hit 200 likes again, that would be absolutely awesome. I plan on covering more perks as well as attachments that all help improve your aim and your gun skill. So all the support on these videos, the likes, the favorites are insanely appreciated. So there you go guys, thank you for watching. If you missed part 1 of the series, click the video on the left. If you missed my last diamond camo video, click the one on the right. Go check those out if you want, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.